introduction to Dolly Phonics Methodology and with this we will be teaching 42 sounds to the learners and that is how we will be starting them on learning to read and write. To get started, we will download the Jolly Phonics app, we will go to Google Play Store and we will type in Jolly Phonics, Jolly Phonics lesson app. We click on it and then there is a little mouse with a graduation hat on there. You click on that one and it will, it will install and then you open it and the first thing you will see here in this app is sounds, lessons, games, tests and resources. Now in this, on this app, every letter of Jolly Phonics, the 42 sounds that is required for children to learn is on this app step by step. So through this, they will take you through eight steps, which we will guide you through right now. And the steps is found on the app for each and every letter. We will start first by going through the lesson sounds. So it says on top, tap on a sound to view its lesson. And each lesson contains all the content needed to teach the sound. So there is groups of letters. So I will show you one letter, for example. We do the, list, the letter T. So we will go through the eight steps which Jolly Phonics methodology teaches us to go through each sound. And the first step that we have to do is we have to tell a story. So in the story, we use lots of repetition of the letter T because that is the sound that, that we are busy introducing. So in the story you see on the app, there's the story and you can read it emphasizing the letter T. Some children go to a tennis match. Each time the racket hits the ball, it makes a T noise. The game is very exciting. The people in the crowd turn their heads from side to side watching the ball. The children go home and play tennis too. Now you will note that I'm not saying T. There's a reason why I'm not saying T. Because we are not busy with this letter name. We are busy with the letter sound T. If you are going to say T, then the child is not going to be able to blend the sounds out. Which is why it's important to say T or S or A. And then after that we are done with the story. We will now move on to the next, um, the second um. The second step in our Jolly Phonics and that is where we do the action. So each sound has its own action. On this particular one, the letter T, the children imitate watching tennis, turning their heads from side to side and saying T, T, T. So you do the action with them. You turn your head, you let them turn their head. In the same way, you are also doing some neck muscle or muscle exercises for them. Let them turn their head and say the letter T. After that, we have a flashcard. Now, if you have paper and pen and cardboard, you can also write the, the letter T on the flashcard so they can recognize it. On this app, you can hear the sound. We click on the, on the, on the icon that says hear sound and that gives you T. And then it also says flashcard and that is how we have the flashcard on the app. But you can also write it down like I said. The next step is formation and that is how you have to write the letter. Starting from the top, you'll see in this app, they show you how to write the letter. We start writing it also first in the air using the fingers in the exact same way that it's shown on this app formation. Then we have another section and the next step is blending. Once you come to the letter T on this app, which is the third letter of group one, then the children has already learnt the letter S, the letter A and the letter T. So because they have learned these three words, they can now blend those letters together and they can make the word S, A, T, SAT, S, A, T, SAT. You've taught them the S, you've taught them the A, you've taught them the T. So they can put these three letters together, making the word sat, sat. So that is the reason why this, uh, these letters are also put in a particular order. Because when you have done um, one group of letters, you will be able to make quite a few three-letter words, as well as two-letter words like at, 
and so on and so forth. And that's, that's why it was purposefully put in this particular order in order for us to blend the letters and move on in the stages. Then after we did blending, now we have the sounding. Remember that in order for the learners to read, they need to make sense of the sounds, putting it together into words. And in order for them to make sense, they need to hear these letters. So we have on each app, there's also each um, group of sounds, there's pictures. So the first picture here, we have a teddy bear, we have a tortoise, we have a tennis racket, and we have sun. So which picture does not match? So now you can let the children hear, does sun start with t? Yes or no? No. Does tennis start with t? Yes. Does daughter start with t? Yes. Does teddy bear start with t? Yes. So which one does not match? The sun does not match. In order for them to differentiate between the different sounds, we, we, read, we read the letters and always put emphasis on the first sound so they can hear that. Then also we have the next step, which is writing, and we also call that dictation, where you call out the sounds. So on this particular group, in this group, there are three sounds, because we have already covered three sounds. So call the letter T, and the child must write down the T. Call the letter A, and the child must write down the A. Call the letter S, and the child must write it down. Then you check it, you go over it. If the ch you can also hear model and um, handwriting skills as well, and proper formation starting from the top down, and pencil control. Also, we can everything is involved there. And the last step, which is the most exciting for the children, is the song. Every song uses the tune of nursery rhymes, which children knows, so they learn the words very very quickly. So the good thing is. They can play the song on the app over and over and over again. Eventually, they will sing it. So the purpose of the song is the letter T will come in the song. If you hear the song, this is what the one of the letter T. When I watch the tennis game, when I watch the tennis game, my head goes back and forth. T is emphasized in the song. Every letter has a different song to emphasize the letters. Thank you parents, that was the Jolly Phonics app. We have taken you through the eight step that is needed to learn every single sound and it's very important that you follow these steps in order to teach the children every single sound that the Jolly Phonics app says. There are 42 sounds and if the children master these sounds, they will be well on their way to reading. So make it fun for the learners, let them sing the songs, let them jump with the movements. Learners like to have fun and remember that readers become leaders. Thank you very much and stay tuned for the next segment in, in this series of how we teach learners how to read. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> so they won't even know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>